You almost want a third party, right? Yes. And speaking of that duo, we know exactly who it is. Rivs and Destroy. No surprise there. Rivs getting another kill as we switched away from his POV. Destroy has that Bertha to use. And there we go. The final solo alongside Intex. What are they going to do? This is Destroy and Rivs to lose. And I agree with you, Tiff. If you're Intex, if they're pulling to you, you have the Bertha for extra cover. Just try and let that fight happen and maybe pick one off so that you can make it a 1v1. Yeah, at this point, if you're in techs, you're just hoping that the other team gets one knock. Maybe you can come and get a cleanup, get that extra multiplier for getting first. But like right there, Shaded gets one, comes out with a pistol, actually. So at this point, the 2v1 here, Rivs and Destroy versus in techs is on the other side. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be really tough for him. They've already kind of, you know, geared up. They're they completely reset. Yeah, he needed to push kind of. Oh, he gets the knock on Ribs. This is great timing. He needs to push and make sure he gets destroyed as well, but he's got to stay safe. I yeah, think this is a big time moment. a little bit. You can yes. hear some of the comms from his teammate. Yeah, getting those initial downs. Oh, wow. Look at it, gets the downs, the collateral, gets the team wipe, and we said it. He had to hope that the circle pulled his way, Tiff. It did. He had the rock. I drop it to rotate. Yeah, and honestly, if you can get the right angle on something like a precision, you can kill people when they're inside those mm -hmm. uh, inside those crates. But it looks like, yeah, he was just trying to get some intel there. But interestingly, that fight we just watched, who killed them, Tiff? It was Intex. Intex, the winners of game number one, they are still here. I'm not sure if it's the full team or if it's just Intex himself. But the fact that they are alive to this point is good news for them to try and keep that first second placement. You know what? That's some really big confidence boosting. I mean, look at these names in the lobbies. If you, everyone in this has the chance to win it. So when you take that win in lobby one and then you regain and you're in the top five for like map two, that's absolutely huge. But Booyah is staying out here on the edge of ring. He, you know, he doesn't have to move. He can let them come to him and he's just picking them off. And it looks like Intex goes down right there. He spots the last team. So now it's a 1v1 situation here. This is an incredible positioning, uh, Booyah. It's pulling right to him. He knows all he has to do is wait for the shots. He's patient in the storm. No scumming is sitting inside the truck and you've got to go right now. You just don't have time. Uses the oh. kim, gets the down. Oh. Gets the kill. Scumming patience pays off. Booyah got antsy and win. You have crates are going to have to move out. Playing fences. You're kind of looking for these scragglies. You've got... Seven players alive, six teams. You know there's going to be a lot of solos out here besides you and your duo. So, I mean, hey, take your time. Get those picks. You've already secured that second through ninth qualify, uh, you know, placement multiplier. So, Raiden said, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pass away. I'm gonna I think pass he's trying. Yeah, I think he's going for the raise, just trying to stick it. Isn't able to do so. Trying to figure out exactly where the shots are coming from. And he's just playing it patient. Again, it's now... I think all uh, solos yeah. as the trade's coming back and that's destroy taking out repuls and Aiden just patiently waiting knows there's someone on the other side of the bridge. That's the person who took out his teammate raided. And now he's just gonna hope that no one's right to his left. And unfortunately, the moment he looks away, he had pre-aimed that exact spot before. Surprise, it's destroy. Hello. Can he get it done? It's a 1v1. He has three kills, so this could potentially be a nice multiplier. Get the shots in, gets the kills, takes him out. Destroy. Getting out of his chair because they have taken it for game number three. Tiff, destroy. Best luck when it comes to that. But if you're up there, you're just you're just praying it goes back and forth five or six times at the top until eventually, you know, maybe you, uh, maybe you have a stim play like Scumma did, aka the Gas Daddy, game one. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. the gas daddy Tiff uh, not here to make the play for the rest of this game. But honestly, OP Mark and his teammate, I really like this from them because as long as you make sure you know that no one can run out behind you on the other side of top airport, really, that's the only way to get to you. So if it pulls here, this is going to be the moment, right? They know someone's above them. They're utilizing that helicopter. At least one of the teams remaining is, and it is. It's a 2v2. It's the team above them. So who gets pushed off? first i like this from rated the reason he's waiting is because he's going to try and catch them in the back when they are forced to jump off and you can see aiden right in front of him tip this is a really nice pinch play from them 
Yeah, this is incredibly smart, but I think Raided sitting in the gas is kind of going to throw it here because they know his location. They got some shots on him already. The gas mask is gone, and there's just nothing Raided can do, but it's okay. He distracted mm -hmm. long enough for Aiden to go ahead and get that clean rotation, right? So now is Aiden's right, chance cool. to start kind of being a little sneaky at this point. Yeah, having that helicopter to use so that they didn't have to make that jump play, which would have been certain death for them, is a big moment. And now you can see the down coming in for his teammate. It'll make it a 1v1. He doesn't even get a chance to get to the ground. He gets taken out by none other than Aiden, the war zone of victory. And I agree, rated, maybe not exactly how he wanted that play. Don't get taken out in the process. We'll use the brick building for some cover. Does at least have full plates to work with. So he does have some nice utility on his side. But Legion, I just want you to know that I saw that you said coleslaw is terrible and you're wrong. Excuse me, but coleslaw might actually, I mean, it's literally just wet salad with yeah. mayo in it. It's got a good flavor to it. Are we talking about the creaminess or the oil? Are you guys actually coleslaw fans? This yes, is incredible. I love coleslaw. Get me out of this booth. I don't know who I'm <laughs> talking with anymore. Yeah. This Dealers is insane. Needs to stop coleslaw. We will riot and pick it outside your store, General Be Manager. Be honest, it just makes you feel like the 13 tenders you ate were healthy. And that's a lie. You're lying to yourself. <laughs> Well, we all need to lie to ourselves from time to time. And unfortunately, as these players fall, they will not be able to lie to themselves about getting first place. We are down now to another 2v1. The final teams, Lucky Shamu and Rapoles together. You got to be careful because every 2v1 we've seen, the duo has lost it. Where do they want to push to? They should be relatively safe here because the circle is right on top of them and it's all uphill to get to them. They will have more than enough space to be able to hide, but he takes that Bertha and that's really his only play. He's not getting anywhere fast with it. So this is a tricky position to be in right now, Tiff. He's going to get some shots in, but unfortunately, considering the vehicle's disabled, you got to get away from it or it's gonna blow up you are not in a good spot and this circle is about to start closing real fast yeah i agree and this is huskers on the other end and he's in this situation i've seen him clutch in qual one he clutched a very very tough 1v2 situation and but this is just not looking like he has the ability to do this if he can get a knock and rotate he's got plenty of shields inside here right so he's got loot and he can take some hits but he really needs to secure that down but shamu and repulse are just holding this angle that they are not gonna let up and he's going again he grabs the bertha unfortunately they will get knocked but look at the excitement going from Lucky Shamu right now. He is hyped as he should be. Congratulations. The Flank, Flanked alone has five Elims right now. So they're in that 1.6x multiplier. And here is it is. Can Flanked make the move and third party at the proper time? He's about to have to get forced into the open. Yeah, and he should be able to anticipate where the other two teams are, right? He knows guaranteed there's going to be a team right in front of him, and he should assume, just based on this circle, that the other team is probably coming from airport. That is kind of that forethought that really can separate players and how they end up placing in these games. If you no can just way. use the information given to you by the storm to be able to effectively figure out where people are. He does get tagged up a little bit, but has a nice amount to work with and gets unveiled down. I think he only got a couple bullets into him, Tiff, so I think he must have already been weak. He breaks the armor again. I don't know if he's going to push for it. He's not choosing to do so just yet because you know that there's still another team to your left. He wants very much so to go I mean, get those thirsts, but he's decided almost decided guaranteed to, to die if he does. Yeah, he can't push. What he needs to do, honestly, is back off and go around on the other side, but he's going to get unveiled mm -hmm. again. Luckily, he has a gas mask, so he can kind of take his time because yeah. I think that other team is holding the circle right now. And yes, that's right. Flanked will go down, but he has a gas mask. I mean, a self wreck but he will get thirsted, unfortunately. He went out with six kills on that 1.6x multiplier. Not a bad try at all. Good job, Flanked. Yeah, good job for him. Those multipliers will be quite nice, but I don't know. Unrational. Taken down. A doctor on the map, he won't be able to save himself this time. Maybe his teammate will come to his rescue, but Unrational, they need these kills. Again, we talked about it. They had a good start. It's been a bit lukewarm through the middle of this tournament. You have these two games left to get back into that top five, but you got to push up into these hills. And I'm not sure who he's peppering with shots right now. That could potentially be Aiden and Raiden. Oh my oh, yeah. gosh, like the absolute beams that are coming out of that EM2. It's just so hard to beat. But one thing that they're going to have to watch out for is whoever is operating that Bertha is on another level right now. They yeah. are just swinging through these trees looking to crunch everyone. Damn it. 
that, dude. Unlucky. When he jumps, he jumps mind. out of the birth of two and ends up getting killed. I mean, that's what you get when you have scum. And I, I have been killed by him more times trying to enter a vehicle. He uses them as bait so often. Shaded hops out, tries to get the ad van. Unrational needed that ammunition. Only had 26 rounds. It seems like everybody in this game right now has almost no ammo. Yeah, and Rivs does have four kills, but now we're down to the final four players. Only three teams. Aiden looking to get a kill. Bunny hops, but it's not good enough. The shots don't connect. Rivs make it his fifth to take down Aiden in first place. That was the first and second place teams. 1v1-ing. Rivs comes out on top. If you can get a first place, if he can clutch this 1v2, it could very well propel them back into first place. Tiff Scummin, ready and waiting alongside Unrational. Can they get it done? We said they needed a big game here to get back into the top five. This could certainly do that for them. Or we might see potentially our third 1v2 clutch of this tournament. And if Riv cements this 1v2, you're 14, you're kind of getting first into the tournament scene. Scummin takes him out. And Unrational just making sure he's dead, you know? Let's shoot some bodies. Are they colors? They're kind of at this gas station, still kind of on the edge of ring. We saw where Scum and Irrational are. So there's one more team. I'm assuming they're in the buy station. That's Rivs and Destroy. Correct. They're they're holding the building by the buy. They have ring, so kind of they can fit themselves into it, right? So they'll be the last mm -hmm. ones to move, and this gives them a massive advantage. This is enormous, Tiff, because the three duos that are left are all teams in the top five currently, I believe. So this is huge. Any of these teams could shuffle around. There's a huge money difference depending on where you land in that top five. And again, if Aiden and Rated aren't here, I don't know if they went out before the 1.6 multiplier, but Rivs and Destroy potentially could make a huge splash and steal this away. I mean, you just think about it. Look at the difference between the first and second. 28,000 down to 17,500. We're not talking about small dollars here. There is a lot of money on the line. $70,000 about to be decided right here. And this is actually a big moment. I was I was wrong. Intex and Z Colors, they're in sixth place. So how they finish this map potentially could push them into the money. That's where they've been the majority of the tournament. Do you have the ice? Can you clutch up? Destroy and Rivs patiently waiting, watching this fight between these players. Not much money to utilize anymore. And he scrambles back into the house. But it looks like right now, it kind of seems like it's Intex and Z Color scumming and unrational. And it looks like now they might choose to push forward the final two unrational and scumming destroy yo, yo, and ribs rotating to the right but it's pulling right to unrational and scumming i just love the communication between destroy and ribs like they keep the vibes up the whole time they're moving and rotating unrational and scumming another one of those duos you see so often in these tournaments but 2v2 when there's a lot of money being determined they get a knock they get a knock, and there you go. Can he get him up? The shots come in. The armor is broken. Can you get the downs? Can you get the headshot? Can you get first place? 